Hi, and welcome to the National Local Government Customer Service Network broadcast channel. In this episode, we've been talking to Carol Lewis, and we're looking at the importance of strategy. Her and I are going to do a bit of a Parkinson moment, have a bit of a chat, and hopefully you'll get a lot of information from it. Um, last year, Pauline asked me to do a couple of workshops for you on writing a customer service strategy. And then she rang me up and gave me the challenge of condensing two days into one hour. I thought, no worries, I can do that. And then Ram has asked me to condense the one hour into 15 minutes. <laughs> so I will be speaking very quickly. Um, and what I want to do is just have a bit of a chat with Ram as well about why you should have a strategy. And then I've put up on my slides a very simple framework for you to follow. Because I think if you don't have a framework, you have no idea where to start. Um, and I'm just going to whiz through that and then you can look at the slides in your own time. So the first thing I want to talk about is why... Oh, wrong, wrong one, Jason. Can you go number two? The first thing we want to talk about is why should... Oh, no. Sorry, I want to go back. We should read my own notes. Going back to basics, wanting to know what a strategy is, and you can read these definitions in your own time when, when we see them. Um, Keep going. There's, there's a big, there's 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 a a big difference in my opinion, between having a strategy and a to-do list or an operational plan. And the four key elements of a strategy are these. It needs to be long-term. So your goal has to be long-term. You may have more than one goal, but it's not what you are going to do tomorrow. You then need to have actions and in the glasses. You need to have actions. And so most of the strategies you will see will have an action plan. And this allows you to allocate resources because the strategy is about getting the resources to need what to do what you need to do. And the other key difference between a to-do list and a strategy is you will have a monitoring mechanism. Okay, so you can read that boring definition in your own time. And these ones, um, but that to me are the essential elements. And that is the big difference, I think. Can I ask a question at this point? How are strategies viewed around an organisation? When you say you've got a to-do list or, or some goals uh, and you talk to your senior management or EM team or uh, executive management team or corporate management team, how do they view you when you say, well, we have a strategy we'd like to present other than some goals we'd like to show you? How do they view you? Well, first of all, they look at you with two heads and they go, how much do you want? So most people uh, associate strategy with finances and looking for money. I think so, and all, I think a lot of strategies tend to be written with the long-term goals in mind, and they're not supported with detailed action planning. So they become what I consider a series of motherhood statements. We are going to rule the world, we are going to do this, we are going to do that, but how are you going to do it? And that's where your action planning comes in. The action planning isn't what each person has to do each day of the, for the life of the strategy, but it's some broad parameters around how you're going to do that because you've reality checked your vision. So if I was to uh, present to my corporate management team or the CEO and I was to say, I want to show you our strategy for the customer service and so where we are now, uh, 2014, and where we want to say, say be in 2020, yeah. and I was to say, but I'm not going to ask you for money, how do you think they would actually react to that? Because we all know local government doesn't have a huge amount of money, and some councils have less money than others, but also with the federal government cutting, those cuts are going to extend from federal to state to local. No two ways about it. And so, you see the Sydney Morning Herald this morning? Very interesting. It's very interesting front page of the Sydney Morning Herald. Notice that Penfold Wire yeah, were advertising. To the bone. Oh, they won't do that because those ministers adore those public servants and to say that you are... Tony doing doesn't. Oh. They oh, will like, you know cut why? us because to the bone. Because they're public consultants to fill those spots. Okay, it's all right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I could say, I could... Yeah, they'll be the same number of positions, but they'll be private rather than... And cost us more. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, whichever way they'll be, there will be a spill, and it may be refilled, but there will be a spill. But in local government, I'm looking at it this way. When putting together a strategy, is it always about, I want money? Because I think that some of the things that have been talked about over the last couple of days at the conference, it hasn't always been about money. It's been about things that we can do, which are great strategic things that we can do, 
And it hasn't always been about, we need more dollars to do that. Yeah, and that's why I call it resources, because it might be staff time. You're paying for that anyway, so there is a cost, but it's how you allocate that staff time and what you use it for. And Tina had some good examples of the you know, cross-council collaboration. So you might be saying, some of my resources include my service delivery managers. Can I have a share of their time or their, you know, or can I have a share of Tina's process mapping department? And I think Bill and Catherine said, you've got process mapping as well. That's a resource. I need to pull that in for my strategy. So when we're talking about the strategy, we're talking about gaining resources. Some of those resources may be a cost plus, but some of them may be cost neutral. But something that I wanted to say, which um, I've written down, is that a good customer service team and a good customer service strategy and a good customer service methodology can save the organisation vast quantities of money. And I know that one of the speakers said that um, customer service was a cost centre. Well, my belief is that you're not a cost centre. Yes, you don't create revenue directly, but I also believe that you can enhance the organisation and make cuts across the organisation to other departments and build them into your own. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It's about, and that's why when you embark on your strategy, you really need to do some quite detailed analysis. I love that word. Thanks for watching our broadcast on the National Local Government Customer Service Network channel. I hope you got lots of hints and tips and tricks that you can use at your council. The case studies were great, the information's been great. I hope you're enjoying it and don't forget to visit our website. See you next time.